Hello, Mark Crossfield here. I've got in my hands today the Power Hip Rotator. This is a training aid. I've been using it in a few lessons and getting some really good results. So I'm going to show you guys what it's all about. It's something you can buy, which might or might not help your golf game subject to your faults. Let me, show, let me show you how I would use it to help people improve and have been using it and giving them some really good feels of what they should be doing with their hips. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, I've got it on, the power hip rotator. I look a bit ridiculous, but you know, we all gotta make some sacrifices if we wanna get better at this game. So we've got a bungee, I've got it connected to the ground, I've got it connected to this harness on my body. Let me just show you one of the ways I've been using it to help students understand how their hip should move. Uh, specifically for people who make back swings where they sway their hips, so the hips wanna just laterally move that way and rotate. So what I've been doing with it, um, is I've been, so I get a bit of tension here on the bungee where I feel like the hip rotator is actually pulling me the way I want to go. And what this does, even though this sounds like the wrong way around, this works really well for getting people to engage core, engage their hips on the backswing. Because I say to them, that's the way you're going. So we want to stop that. We want to stop this lateral sway and then often a reverse spine angle, what have you. So what I say to them, get some pressure. So I'm pulling on the bungee here. So it feels like I'm being pulled that way. Now make a couple of back swings where you actually fight. Just rotate your hips, but fight that bungee. And what happens, I really start to work inside this right leg. I feel the muscles down on my right foot firing. I feel my core engaging. Everything's starting to, to fire to stop this movement going this way. So actually pulling someone the way they naturally go um, with this bit of tension then literally getting them to hit a shot so a few drills not hitting shots with the trainer and then just trying to get them to hit a shot where they actually feel that they're trying to engage those same muscles that they felt when they had it connected with the tension pulling them the way they wanted to go if you were unable to get to a range which lots of us are you know with busy lies if you were to drill each day just practicing even without a club engaging the muscles that need to work to stop you making your sway engage those muscles that you need to fire to help you make a better backswing where you're not just laterally swaying around um, that's going to make probably as much good in practice as you, it, it would go into the range and hitting 100 balls every day just that learning that feeling of how the hips need to engage to um, make the better movement it's actually better trying to do it than just hitting balls where the subconscious theory of just trying to hit a shot often takes over that's one way i've been using it um, to, to really really good uh, results with my students making massive improvements and what it does more than anything else which i like Apart from them make it look a bit silly when they're strapped up, what it does is it makes them really develop their own feel, makes them start to develop the feel, what it feels like to them, rather than me suggesting what it feels like when you don't make a backswing or you, you, don't, you, you make a backswing where you don't sway your hips. Um, they can actually develop their own feels for what's happening, what muscle they feel is engaging more to stop those hips swaying when you get this device on them. It's a really, really clever device. Now there's other ways you can use it. Let's just look at a couple of the other ways you could use this to help you hit some better shots. So the other way I've used it to really good success with students is for two reasons. One, again, to try and give them the feeling of the sway, but with this way, where I've got it connected behind me here, if I just pull some tension on this cord, so come a little bit closer to the camera, what happens is, when I make my back swing now, I can really feel my hips. I mean, this is great training for my lower body or my lower legs. Really can feel that if I did this enough, that's gonna to start to wake, which is great. I'm really starting to, this tension work this area and down through my legs against this bungee. But what this also does, because I've got this tension built in on the way back, so don't want this way, you actually wanna build a bit of rotational tension, so I'm pulling that bungee tighter. What happens then, if I just let that go, absolutely, great for getting the feeling of a bit more stretch on the downswing and like I say it's much more of a you know, I mean I could actually hit shots like this and I get the students hitting shots like this but I do find it a bit hard um, it's a great way to train in your garden 
on your practice areas you don't you do need to stick it in the ground so you might need you can i've got some fasteners where i could attach it indoors but you'd have to be drilling away so you need a pretty uh, good thinking wife or kind of into golf wife possibly to allow you to do that sort of drilling holes everywhere for your funky little hip thing um but look this is a great tool for helping you understand a lot more what the pelvis should be doing a lot more about how your body should be engaging in different ways and feeling the different movements of your hips with the way it pulls you around check it out i'll put a link in the web to the website down below you can follow it's not the cheapest training aid in the world but it is fantastic it really is i'm using it so much more in my lessons now almost daily for people who have got issues with the way their pelvis is working and it does absolutely give them the feel of the way they should be moving certain parts of their body to make a better swing check it out let me know what you think if you've got one you've heard about it let me know i'd love to hear what you think post comments down below and thanks for watching so if you like what's going on here don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel also thumbs up the video post comments love to hear what you guys got to say let's keep it social the more we talk the more we share the easier this game will get for uh, for everybody so if you want to find me on facebook here you can find me on facebook if you want to tweet me find me on twitter here as well just follow the links all in the description come and join the show get active get involved get playing some better golf thanks for watching